Hi, this is Mrs. Ziegler, and I'm going to go through the significant figures and measurement worksheet so that you know how to complete this. All right, so the first part it shows you here is that you, for the for the four different measurements that you have here, you're going to do three parts. The first part is that you're going to draw your tool. So based off of the unit that you have, you're going to draw a ruler, a graduate cylinder, or a thermometer, depending on the unit. Then, and for the second part, you will state what the markings indicate. So here we can see that the markings here, they go by tens. The reason why we know it goes by tens is because, again, based off of the number of significant figures. Since I have two significant figures, that means that this last digit is the uncertainty. So therefore, that is the reason why our ruler has markings that go by 10. Because when it is this number as the uncertainty, that means that you're estimating that value. So therefore, that is the reason why our ruler looks like this. So that's the front side. The back side here, these problems, you are just going to tell me how many significant figures there are in each of these numbers. Then after that, for this part, whatever you're given, if you're given a scientific notation, you're going to change that into a real number, meaning you're going to make it from taking away the times base 10 and making it into a real number, meaning you're going to move the decimal. Then if it's given you a real number, you're going to change this into scientific notation, again, where the decimal is in between the first and the second number, and then times 10, whatever the exponent is, is however many places you move your decimal. Then when you're finished with that, the last portion of the worksheet is here where it asks you to assign the error readings to the measurements, which what that means is, which digit is uncertain? We know that it is the last digit. Okay, so for example, for this one, the last digit is the thousands place. So therefore, this is the uncertainty, the error reading, where it can either go plus or minus 0 0.001. You're not going to actually give me the digit. You're going to tell me its place, and then, of course, you have your unit. Again, if you have any questions, please make sure you reach out.